Yeah, so we got this uh, job opportunity come through where we all got invited out to New York and we didn't exactly know what it was for, but we knew that we were going out there on behalf of Netflix and Marvel. So on the first night we decided as tourists we need to go to Times Square. None of us had been to New York before and uh, great opportunity to see you know, the, the real hub of New York. So down we went and we just got taken in completely by the scenery. It was, uh, it was pretty beautiful, wasn't it? We couldn't resist doing a few flips for the crowd and getting some personal shots and just taking it all in to show off apparently. <laughs> and yeah, it was, it was an amazing night. It really ticked one off the list for our first evening there. And uh, we came back with smiles on our faces, didn't we? Uh -huh. Times Square was really good. Um... <laughs> so looking at me. That's it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was not there. I wasn't the <laughs> main show. <laughs> Uh, so we knew we were going out to shoot a few parkour videos, but one of the main ones was just us going out doing some training around some of the spots. And it's only when we got there we realised there's not actually a lot of parkour videos that come out of New York City Centre, and we found out why. Some of the spots just aren't spots, and we had to do a lot of combing, a lot of alleyways, and really locate something that we could do some genuine movement in. So we located a few alleys that uh, we thought had potential, and. Um, we made the most of them, yeah. There wasn't many spots in New York. It was really, it's really basic, straight up buildings, a few railings outside, but that's it. Well, I think the thing about New York is that it's very flat and uh, like direct, you know, like you have a building and just a building up and another building. The blocks are just buildings. They don't need to have a handicap access or anything. It's just straight up and mm. nothing around. So on one of the days we managed to get a set visit for um, the set of Daredevil, which uh, for me, I don't know about the rest of you, it was the first time being on a set. It was quite exciting. It's uh, amazing to see how they construct some of the um, some of the office settings and everything. And yeah, it's really interesting to see past that fourth wall of how a show is filmed. Um, we got to hang out with some of the cast, like Charlie Cox, Daredevil himself, and some of the people from Luke Cage. We got to see some of the weapons and things that they use on set. It was cool to see the ninjas and the, the stunt uh, the stuntmen. You guys the got the chance to shoot in the office that they used in Daredevil season two, didn't you? Yes, and me and Will we, uh, we went there and we shot a like a, a take a scene for the POV video, but we changed the, the plan a little bit. Mm, but we had to ask really nicely to just get that yeah. opportunity, didn't we? And, and they we had, had like to, five minutes. <laughs> yeah, they had to check over everything we filmed, and they had to take the memory card and then give it back yeah. to us. It was it was pretty cool that we got that opportunity. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's understandable too because it's so much, um, so much involved in it, mm. and they, you, it, I don't think it's good for them just to let. I'll just go and film as much as you want. Yeah. So one day, my friend Jack Lowry sent me an image of this rooftop that was covered in graffiti and just had loads of different height walls and things. And we like, "This is a perfect spot. We need to get there." So through some intense mapping, we found this rooftop. We, uh, we walked down to this bridge and we had a look at this thing and we were like, we can get up there. If graffiti artists can get up there, it should be no problem for us. So the problem with checking out new spots, as I'm sure a lot of people know, is that uh, you don't always know what the surfaces are going to be like. You're, you're the first one up there, you're going to have to find these things out for yourself. So I was just climbing a few ladders. I found this wall, which I checked out. You know, I gave it a little, the standard parkour slap to be like, yeah, it's a solid wall. This should be fine. So I hopped across the gap and I was just eyeing this little precision down and I was going to do a flip out. Um, and I changed my mind at last minute and I'm so glad I did because if I'd landed in the center of this, this little panel, like I almost did, both my feet would have punctured the top of it and I would have gone down to my waist. Fortunately, however, I only had one foot in the center. So I still managed to go down to my knee. My heel got caught on the lid of this disused chimney. I turned around just in time to see my shoe do like a double flip and then fly straight down this uh, blocked off chimney about six floors. And I'm like, great, one of my shoes is gone. What can I do now? <laughs> now walking the streets of New York with one shoe. That was horrendous. Uh, we, we shot there quite a lot, didn't we? Basically on that roof, we'd done a POV run and I'd done this little dive dive con <laughs> and then yeah it linked off to a few other things going along the roof
In the POV film, I had to chase Lewis, and we were literally just running around with the GoPro in our mouth, just going all out. And then Lewis goes and jumps for a U UPS truck. Oh, so, one no. of those trucks with like no doors on the side. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we did a running through Chinatown, mm -hmm. and I had this mask on, you know. Yeah. So I was I was scared of what people would think about. Um, these two guys running around and one of them with a mask and the other one with a camera in the mouth. You know, it's just so weird, just so random, just so New York, you know. <laughs> I think you could only see this in New York. You could not see this anywhere else, just in New York. So one of the main points of interest in the New York trip was the chance to go to Comic-Con and there's no way I'm going to Comic-Con unless I'm wearing a costume. After meeting Charlie Cox, the main Daredevil actor, everyone kind of said to me, you kind of look like him. <laughs> so uh, we decided we might be able to sort something out. I mean, Daredevil 1, his costume is pieced together from scraps from his closet. You know, we, we can recreate that. We just need a lot of black clothing. And I wasn't alone. There was plenty of other Daredevils there. But it was just an overwhelming experience going in. I'd, I'd never been to a comic con event before. And it was a bit mind-blowing, really. So many stalls and mm. toys. And it was like an adult toy shop. It was... Pretty intense. I, I was a little taken in by it actually because it's a few things I wanted to get. So there's a few times when walking around the streets, um, the public would say to me, Oh, hey, you guys shooting Daredevil? And there were other times when I probably just looked like a bandit and people would cross the road to walk around me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, shooting with a blindfold and at night made it quite difficult. And um, I mean, we were walking around Hell's Kitchen the district itself that it was filmed in. And um, I didn't even know that was a real place. I thought it was made up for the the series, to be honest. Um, but seeing it in all its glory, I was like, this is, you know, this is the setting for Daredevil. This is perfect. So people knew it. It was famous for Daredevil's district. You know? So trying to get comfortable on the corner of these really high rooftops took a bit of getting used to, but I don't know, it just became quite comfortable in the end, I suppose. I'm there just like trying to tense up and lock myself out waiting for wind to blow the trails of my mask and yeah worrying that with my blindfold I can't really see the edge very well. We made it work like you would do, you'd feel things out and you'd make sure you were safe and just go with it. So we went to this alleyway to film the fight scene when Daredevil finds us and saves the, the guy and it was infested by rats but so bad man it was horrible it was. so <laughs> many so many rats they're big like cats and it was always like big one goes and then it's smaller it's smaller it's smaller and then a lot of small ones behind and always in the line <sighs> this guessing we had to film the fight scene and we were lying on the floor uh, to be honest i was pretty scared because <laughs> <laughs> as you said they were like they weren't scared of us and i had to lay on the floor for like 10 to 15 seconds, Yeah, didn't I? <laughs> I had to keep as still as possible and then I hear like these noises like Action! Fuck me! Fuck Cut! Halfway through the fight scene, I have to like, I give Potsy like a bit, bit of a shove against the thing, then I have to go try grab him. And what he does, he lifts himself up, kicks me in the chest, then I have to slam back into a bin. Yeah. Yeah, and that was well. wasn't very nice. We, it was we, a big metal steel bin. Yeah, we'd done it a few times, but we needed more realism each shot. And Will just said to me, like, just give it everything this one shot. Like, I, I can take it. <laughs> so I tried not to hold back and... Well, that was hard. So we're now doing this fight scene in full force, and I'm still wearing my blindfold, which makes it quite hard to do dummy shots or any fake hits. And there's one part of the scene where Lewis wins me and I, I, I like keel over and then I, I lift my head up with the force to knock him down. But I actually connected, didn't I? <laughs> but it was harder than it, it, than it looked, really. It, it worked out fine, but we got some hits, like real hits. And <laughs> In fact, the final shot um, was where Will's lying on the floor already and I kind of bounce off a wall and do a final strike across his face. And we actually connected on one of the shots, didn't we? The yeah. sound is real. What happened? Did you you put your hand up or something, didn't you? And as you come down, I was just like, Whoa. yeah. And then <laughs> I think you didn't you like hit my hand? I must have hit his hand or something. <laughs> but it's one of those. Like, I hit something. I've got to carry on acting. Walk away. <laughs> yeah, you just fully clock me in the head. And then I'm just out cold. Uh, action.
Uh, so one of the days we got the chance to go on this rooftop and for me personally, you know, seeing Spider-Man and stuff growing up, this is something that I've always wanted to do, see a New York rooftop view from the top of a water tower. So as soon as we saw this first water tower, we were all straight up there. We just had the, the Empire State Building in the distance. We had uh, numerous different height rooftops. It didn't really seem like they'd built any rooftops to match the others. There was just this maze of beauty and sunset was nearing in. We all had our phones on us and that view was breathtaking, wasn't it? Maybe instead of using words, I use emojis, but in real life, so it's like this, like this, like this, like this, and like this. <laughs> All the hand emojis. <laughs> you know? Speaks was, many languages, Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> it was cool, it was really, really nice. I think on the whole, just being in New York, we were, we were making the most of all the time. We were shooting by day, shooting by night, sleeping when we could, but also trying to play hard when we could as well. Basically, we made the fully most of the time we were there, didn't we? We ate some amazing food, we went to Comic-Con, it was just a complete time there. Before we round this off, we just want to say a massive thanks to Netflix for uh, sorting us out with an incredible opportunity. Daredevil Season 1 is obviously already out on Netflix, but we're here promoting Season 2, which comes out on the 18th of March. Do not miss it, we got to see some behind the scenes and it's well worth the watch. If you don't have Netflix already, you can get a free month's trial, so make the most of that, you know, enjoy it, it's a great series. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>